みなさんこんにちは。私はかなめです。In this video, I'll teach you how to type Japanese using Romaji input. There are two types of input in Japanese. One is called Kana input, the other one is called Romaji input. As you can see, on Japanese keyboard, each key has hiragana written on it. For example, on this K, there is no written on it. So if you want to type no, you hit K. But most of Japanese people don't use this input system because in order to use this kana input, you need to memorize the location of all the hiragana characters on the key. Especially in your case, I suppose you don't have Japanese keyboard like this, so hiragana is not written on your keyboard. So at first, it's hard to look for the character you want to type. So in this video, I'll teach you how to type Japanese using Romaji input. So first, you need to know how to type Japanese five vowel sounds. A, E, U, E, O. It's simple. A is A, so hit A for A. E is I, so hit I. U, U. E is E. O is O. So basically, A, U, E, O is A, I, U, E, O. And when you want to type other characters, it's basically a combination of a consonant and the vowel. So, for example, when you want to type kakiku keko, you hit k, consonant k first, and you type a for ka. Ki is ki, ku is ku, ke is ke, ko is ko. One thing you should notice when you type in Japanese, you need to finalize the input. At this point, the input is not finalized. So if I hit space button, I can convert them into different characters. As Japanese has three writing systems, so when you type something, you need to choose the character you want to type and you need to finalize the input. To finalize the input, all you have to do is after choosing the character you want to type and then push enter to finalize the input. Let's see how to type sashi suseso. It's very simple. First, you hit S and hit A, E, U, E, O. So basically, sa is S, A. Shi is S, I. Su is S, U. Se is S, E. So is S, O. Sashi suse so and hit enter to finalize it. You might wonder, oh, she is SI. I know you might want to type it as SHI for she. You can type SHI and you can write she all the same. Many Japanese characters have more than one way to type. Just remember that spelling for reading and spelling for writing could be different. And just Japanese people find it easier to type shi with si without h because it could be sometimes confusing. If I type shu, it becomes shu. So when you just want to type sashi suseso, it's just easy to type it like sashi suseso. But it's fine if you type shi using this spelling. When you want to type tachi tsuteto, then use T. So T A Ta T I Chi T U Tsu T E Te T O To Ta Chi Tsu Te To. It's the same. Maybe when you want to type Chi, you want to type C H I. And when you want to type Tsu, you want to type T S U. That's fine. C H I T S U. You can type t s u But again, when you type Japanese, you don't have to stick to the spelling for reading. We usually just type them using t a, t i, t u, t e, t o because it's just more convenient to type. So when you want to type nani nune no, you use n. Now I don't type everything now because I think you already know the pattern, okay? Ha hi fu he ho, you use h. Mami mume mo use M. Ya yu yo use Y. Lali lure ro you use R. 
and for wa and o you use w. Let's see. W a for wa and w o for this o. What about when you want to type n? Just hit n twice, then you can type n. What about other sounds like gagi guge go, zajizuzezo? It's all the same. For gagi guge go, you use consonant g. So, g a ga, g i gi, g u gu, g i ge, g o go. And finalize it. Gagi guge go. And for zajizuzezo, you use z. For dajizudedo, use d. Babi bubebo use B, papi pupepo use P. What about yoon? Yoon is sounds like kya kyu kyo, cha chu cho. They are yoon. When you want to type yoon, you use Y. For example, when you want to type kya kyu kyo, first you hit the consonant. So in this case, K, right? And then hit Y and hit A. Kya. If you want to type Q, first hit K, Y, and the vowel. In this case, Q. It's U vowel, so you hit U. Kyo, K, Y, O. Kya, Q, Kyo. Let's see Sha, Shu, Sho. It's S consonant, so hit S first, and Y, A for Sha. S Y U for shu, S Y O for sho. For sha shu sho, you can also use S H consonant. It's the same. S H A for sha, S H U for shu, S H O for sho. All other yon sounds are basically the same. So nya nyu nyo, it's n sound. N Y A for nya. N Y U for new. If you want to type, for example, pia pu pio, it's P sound, right? P Y A pia P Y U pu P Y O for pio. And then what about the small t, the double consonant t? When you want to type double consonant, as this name double consonant suggests, you just hit the consonant twice. So for example, if I want to type Saka, okay. First, I type sa. There is double consonant tsu and ka, right? So you see the next or upcoming consonant, and you hit the upcoming consonant twice, and you hit the vowel saka. Then you can type the double consonant saka. If I want to type zashi, okay. First, there is za, right? And there is shi, zashi. But here you need to type the consonant s twice. Zashi to type this sound. Zashi. And when I want to type, for example, happy, I'm happy, happy. Okay. First type ha. An upcoming sound is p, so you hit p twice. And i for happy. And for the long vowel, here next to zero, this key, you can type long vowel. And if you want to convert them into katakana, then you hit space. And there you can see the katakana character, happy. So that's how to type double consonant tsu. And when you want to type long words, for example, when you want to type du, du, oh, how to type this du? Well, there is a proper spelling for du. In this case, d. H U for D D H U you can type this sound. But there are many other long words and it's troublesome to memorize all their spellings. So even Japanese people don't remember all the spellings for all the long sounds. So what Japanese people do in this situation is oh I don't know how to type do. Well in this case the easiest solution is use L or X before typing the character. So for example I know it's de, right? I want to type the small u. To type small u, I first hit L, then type u. Then I can make the character small. Du. 
Okay, how to type D? Well, if you know the proper spelling in this situation, D H I, you can type D. But if you don't know the spelling, all you have to do is first type D and use L or X. You can also use X to make the character small. X and E. You can type D. Okay, what about WE? Well, the proper spelling for WE is W H E. You can type WE. But if you don't know the spelling, all you have to do is first type U and use L or X and hit E. WE. You can use this method when small tsu comes at the ending. So, for example, especially if you read Japanese manga, you see situation where a comment ends with the small tsu. So when you want to type stuff like this, because there's no upcoming consonant, so you cannot hit the consonant twice. So in situation like this, all you have to do is first type ah, then use L and type tsu. Then you can type ah. By the way, how to type exclamation mark? It's basically hold shift and hit this one key. So that's basically how to type Japanese. But you still might get confused when you actually type Japanese because there are three writing systems, hiragana, katakana, and kanji, and we convert them. So now I teach you how to effectively convert characters. So for example, a word like kaban. Kaban is a word that is written in hiragana or katakana or kanji. Depending on personal preference, some people write kaban using kanji, some people write in hiragana, some people write it in katakana. So when you convert Japanese word, you use space. Oh, now katakana came out. If I hit it again, oh, there's this emoji here and choose the one you want to type in. When you want to select, you can use the space bar or you can use the arrow up down key to choose one. Okay, which kaban do I want to? Okay, I think I'm, I like kanji version. So I choose the kanji version and hit enter to choose and then hit enter again to finalize it. But there might be some situations you want to write something all in katakana. For example, if I want to type my name all in katakana, how should I do? Naito Kaname, that's my name. Okay, let's find katakana. Uh, I cannot find katakana. Okay, in this situation, it's so troublesome to look for. As you can see, there are many options. Okay, it's just so troublesome to look for the character I'm looking for. In this situation, if you want to just turn everything into katakana, there is very easy way. If you're using Mac, you hold control key and then hit K then you can turn everything into katakana all at once. Enter to finalize it. Again, konnichiwa. Since konnichiwa is not a phrase usually written in katakana, so if you want to turn it into katakana, oh, you cannot find it. So in a situation like this, the best solution is use hold control and hit K. And if you are using Windows, hit F7, then you can turn them into katakana. There are also situations, especially when you type someone's name, like proper nouns, you cannot find what you're looking for just by scrolling down. Say you have a friend whose name is Mika and she uses these two kanji spellings for Mika, okay? This is not the common kanji spelling for Mika because people usually, when their name is Mika, they might use hiragana spelling or katakana or some combination like mika or mika, right? There's many different combinations of mika. So if your friend's name is this mika and when you want to type her name, if you type it like this, oh no, oh no, oh finally you found it. But you have to look for the name and in many situations, you cannot find them. It's not in the list. So what should you do if the kanji you're looking for was not in the list? In this situation, what Japanese people do usually is 
type individual kanji. So in this case, it's sum. So write sum. The next kanji can be read as kaori. So I type kaori. And then I delete the li. Then I can type these two characters. There is a YouTuber in Japan called Uketsu. It's written like this. Okay. It's read as Uketsu. Okay. Let's type Uketsu and look for these two kanji characters. I cannot find them. What should I do? So in this kind of situation, all you have to do is type individual kanji. This first character is read as Ame, so I type Ame. And next kanji is Ana, so I type Ana. Then I can type the name. Let's see how to type symbols. So how to type Chaham. Okay, Chaham. There is long vowel symbol. As I said, long vowel symbol is here next to zero. You hit this button. Ha, n. There's a n, so you hit n twice. And you want to type it in katakana. Since I'm using Mac, I hold Control and K. Chaha. And I hit Enter. And if you want to type comma, it's next to M here. It's comma. And if you want to end the sentence, use a period, which is next to comma here. And there is Japanese quotation marks. You can see P, right? Next to P and next to this key here. This is Japanese quotation mark. If you want to end the quotation here and you hit enter. So let's actually type something. So I'll type some dialogues. Okay. Tanaka-san. Okay, Tanaka-san. I want to use kanji for Tanaka. So I hit space. Of course, it's not made in Tanaka. Okay, I found it. I hit enter to finalize it. Tanaka-san. Watashi. Okay. Uh, should I use kanji? Mm, uh, no, I think I'm gonna use hiragana. Okay, and comma because I want to have this posing feeling. Watashi? Tanaka-san here. Again, Tanaka-san, and I hit enter here. We usually avoid typing too many words without finalizing it because sometimes it becomes messy. Uh, for example, Konnichiwa, watashi wa kaname desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Okay. Here, for example, I don't want to type watashi in kanji. So in this situation, oh, okay, okay. Now they turn into kanji, but I don't want to use kanji here. Uh, so, uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, oh, no, no. I don't, I, it becomes very troublesome. So in order to choose exactly what you want to type, we usually, when you type this kind of stuff, we finalize very often. Konnichiwa, finalize. Watashi wa, I don't want to use kanji, so here I finalize it. Kaname desu, I want to use kanji, so convert them into kanji and finalize. Yoroshiku, yoroshiku also could be turned into kanji, but I prefer hiragana here, so I choose hiragana and enter. Onegai shimasu, for onegai shimasu, I use kanji for onegai, okay. That's how usually Japanese people type. Since if you type so many things at once, it's hard to pick the right one. So usually when we type Japanese, we often finalize them. So watashi Tanaka-san no koto ga. Here, finalize it. Suki nan desu. Like this. So that's how to type Japanese using Romaji input.